Hi, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Allens. So this episode is starting off on a little bit of a sad note. Um, after work today, Stefan decided that he'd come fishing down here at the Olive Branch Cemetery. Um, sometimes after work, you know, he gets down and he starts thinking about his wife and, you know, everything that happened. And, you know, sometimes he comes down here to visit her grave and, you know, go fishing. It's actually a really nice sunset. Um, so it's actually a really nice time to go fishing. So he decided to come over here and visit his wife's, you know, headstone one more time before he leaves. And, you know, he's just mourning her and just feeling so sad. So I don't know if I ever told you guys, but Angela actually did die from an illness. She actually had an illness, a terminal illness. And so it was very sudden, you know, and so Stefan is just, sometimes he thinks about it and he just doesn't understand how this could happen. Like Angela was the love of his life. He just doesn't understand. He feels like he was robbed. <laughs> he feels like he was robbed of his marriage actually. And oh my God, here's Angela. You know, sometimes it's almost like he can feel her spirit. Um, it's almost like he, he knows that she's there and watching over him. And that's kind of what's going on right now. Oh my, this is the saddest thing. I'm so sorry for putting you guys through this, this episode. Um, I knew it was going to start off a little melancholy, but <laughs> I didn't expect it to get this sad. Oh my gosh. This is Avery's mom, you guys. So this is Angela. Um, I don't know if you guys could kind of peep the features, but with his son leaving really soon, it's just bringing up all these feelings of grief and grief and loss for him. So so speaking of Avery, he's actually back home, you know, FaceTiming with Toya. He's been on, these two have been on FaceTime ever since they met, <laughs> like ever since he's gotten in, gotten her number. Um, they were actually supposed to go on their date tonight, but um, Toya, he actually learned that Toya is a content creator. She creates uh, content for social media. So she had some editing to do tonight, so she was very busy. She's like, what? I'm sleeping. Girl, you are not sleeping. So I guess she fell asleep on the phone, but... Yeah, they'll meet up tomorrow uh, after work. He does want to make sure that he gets that time with her because she doesn't know. She still doesn't know that he's leaving. <laughs> so she, she knows that he's in the military and, you know, things like that. So she, he shared a lot about himself, but not that uh, that he's leaving. And I'm so mad that you just washed this big pot out in the bathroom. Um, just turn that dishwashing off. So if you guys don't have the... Um, don't wash this is where you angry poop mod. Please get that. And look at Bear. <laughs> Bear is feeling good. So I'm actually gonna have um I'm actually gonna have Stefan come home. I'm gonna have Avery kind of clean up and I'm gonna have the guys kind of get ready for tomorrow. So I think I'll just catch you guys in the morning. Okay, so it's morning in the Allen household and you guys already know the morning routine. Avery is in here doing his weights. Stefan is in the kitchen whipping up some chocolate pancakes. You guys know that he uh, cooks breakfast every single morning. That is his contribution to his son. <laughs> so yeah, the guys are just getting ready for work this morning and uh, hopefully it's a productive day. Um, I know Avery is kind of pumped for the day because you know, he is going on his date finally with Toya, so. Yeah, let's just have everybody come over here and um, grab a serving. So it looks like Stefan is actually in here crying it out. He really just cooked breakfast and he's like, you know what? This is even worse. This is the last time my son's going to have my chocolate chip pancakes before he's leaving me. And, you know, it, everything's just taking a toll on Stefan right now. He, he really didn't expect to be as emotional as he is, you know, after giving his son such great advice and, you know, supporting him all the way. Uh, but, you know, he came in the room too. He can never let his son see that he's down. He can never let him know that he's upset see he wants to chat with avery so i think i'm gonna have him come over here and try to be funny with him <laughs> you know just like tell a joke about some ducks or something you know he doesn't want his son to think that you know it's bad i'm um, gonna send him alone today one day we will go with stefan to fight some fires you guys <laughs> it is an active career that is something that i downloaded so avery's off to work and you know stefan He's taking his sweet time this morning. You know, everybody else is up, running, and productive, and he's just like, I could care less about going to work right now. 
Um, but he does need to go. He is running about 30 minutes late. So I think I'm going to have him go ahead and go to work. And um, I'll see you guys when they get back. Okay, so Avery's back home, and the first thing he's doing is, like, digging through the laundry. He's like, where is that old shirt that I let Dad borrow, and now I can't find it, but now I need it on a date with Toya. <laughs> so he is just getting ready. As you guys can see, he's actually um, wanting to chat with Toya. So um, he didn't find a shirt, but he did find $11, and he's like, you know, whatever, that's cool. Um, the house needs to be vacuumed. This house is just getting out of hand, but he literally doesn't have time to do that. He's going to come in here and brush his teeth. And we're just going to go ahead and get every time, <laughs> every time he tries to take out the trash, I have him do something else. But yeah, he's like, I have to get ready. Like, you know, tonight is the night. And uh, she actually wants to meet up at like six and it's only 350. But you guys know Sims time goes by so fast. So Avery and Toya made it to the restaurant. They actually decided to check out this cute new restaurant downtown Willow Creek. If you guys saw my world overview video, um, you would have seen uh, this building right here this restaurant but it is through and improved i went and added some cc and i also changed this from a nail salon to like a dessert place so this is like what the dessert bar looks like that's attached to the restaurant it's so cute um it has like an ice cream over here or you can get like pastries and things so this is the restaurant they have like a little booth over here some tables and then um like a little wine bar back here so this place is really popular it's very high end um, so I'm actually going to have him order for the table. He really has to go to the restroom, but I'm not going to lie. I'm going to cheat that up just because you guys know I don't want to get up and ruin everything. Oh, so I also added my custom food <laughs> to the menu. And let's just say this place is not cheap, you guys. Like, look at the prices. Look at the prices. Mm, Avery was not expecting to pay all this, but we're going to get her a glass of champagne. Girl, we can ditch the strawberries and just get the one for 37 bucks. That's what you're going to get. <laughs> and we're just going to get him, um, you know, he's a simple guy. So he's just going to get, you know, whiskey is also 57. We're just going to get the Jack Daniels, call it a day. And then for the appetizer, I don't think they're going to get any appetizers, but they are going to get a main course. They have Wagyu steak. <laughs> you guys, this place is uh, upscale. But I actually think I'm just going to get her the uh, sizzle brisket. And I think he is going to have some. He's not going to go for the Wagyu steak. Let's just go ahead and get the blue steak and call it a day. Um, they also have really good desserts here. And that's what we're going to do. So $131 tab. That's an expensive date. <laughs> it's an expensive date. But, you know, his dad, Stefan, recommended this place. He's like, because, yeah, you know. Avery was going to take her to the little cafe, you know, you guys saw in the world overview video, the cafe was booming, you know, but uh, Stefan was like, why don't you take her on a real date, you know, if you're so serious. Toy is having a great time. I, this is just so nice. Um, and even like, look at the sky, like, look at the, the mood is just so right. And you know, they're having great conversation. The date is going really well, actually. Um, they need to have, I think that he's probably going to get deep right now. He wants to ask her some deep questions. Uh, let's get to that. Oh, she's asking about money? Girl, what? <laughs> um, she's probably just talking about her job. He's like, so you want to be a star? And she's like, that's not, she's like, I'm just starting off small, you know. <laughs> I posted a short to my YouTube channel talking, and it's basically Toya's that's going to be Toya's account. So her get ready with me for this date is actually already posted. So I think that's kind of cool. So if you guys actually want to check out the content that Toya creates, um, check out my shorts. And here's our food. So everything looks amazing. Even though they're trying to cook Avery's a little extra in the candle, <laughs> everything looks amazing. So for whatever reason, they didn't want to eat at this table. They prefer to eat at the bar. I don't know why. But, um, you know, Avery decided that <laughs> it's time for him to, she's showing him like her post. <laughs> but um, Avery decided that it's time for him to be honest and tell Toya exactly what's going on. So I think that's what we're going to do. He's like, see, I followed you. <laughs> so he's just like, you know, thank you for coming tonight. And she's just saying how she had a great time. And, you know, it was really nice hanging out with him tonight and getting to know each other a little bit more. And... 
you know, they're just hugging each other. He's like, I really don't want this night to end. And he's like, <laughs> so they are just playing around and, you know, having a great time. Obviously, they're feeling a little bit flirty. And so I think he's just going to go in. <gasps> And he just went in for the kill, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So she really loves that. So, so it's the next morning. And Stefan is watching the news right now. He's watching the Weather Channel, hoping that, you know, he hears some good weather so that he can go fishing today. It looks like it's going to be sunny. So I think he's a little bit happy about that. He actually took the day off so that, you know, he hasn't been in the best spirits. So he decided to take the day off and just, you know, focus on himself. Avery is actually over here in his bed sleeping. As you guys can see, he didn't even shower when he came in. He just hopped in the bed and he is out. Him and Toya actually ended up spending the rest of the night together and really just enjoying each other's company. Um, so yeah, I think, <laughs> well, I was gonna take Bear with us, but you guys know Bear is lazy. So look, look at Bear. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna have the fish are out here jumping too. So let's have him come over here and uh, go fishing. I'm actually going to have Avery go ahead and get up so that he could just get in the shower. <laughs> like, you, he also took the day off so that he could just, you know, he got in pretty late last night. So he's like, there's no way I'm going to be able to fulfill my duties. So he's just going to make himself something really quick. And then I think that he's going to, what, a fire? Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What the heck? Good thing your dad's a fire man, but he's outside fishing. He doesn't even know what's going on. Oh my gosh, extinguish self, extinguish self. Your dad taught you this, your dad taught you this. Oh, well, let's just go ahead and replace it. We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to do it. Stefan is oblivious. He's just out here catching his fish. He doesn't even know his son almost burnt down the house or anything. <laughs> So Avery invited Toya over because he wanted to see her. He's like, hey, Bear is like, who is this chick? <laughs> so he's like, welcome to the house. <laughs> and she's like, it's so nice in here. She's like, it smells so good in here. And he's like, thank you, thank you. So he's like, so what's up? And he's like, yeah, I took a day off today. And she's like, oh, you took a day off to clean up? <laughs> you cleaned up just for me? And so I think they're just smiling about that. And so he's like, you like video games? <laughs> because <laughs> that's all I had in store for us to do today. He's kind of bouncing around the subject. Like he's not really wanting to get into it, but he knows he's gonna have to. So um, I think that he's gonna just go ahead and get into it. He's like, so remember I told you I got my promotion, right? Well, actually that promotion requires me to move. So I actually have to move to San Myshuno in a couple days, like way over there. And I didn't want to tell you at first because I was scared. I didn't want to scare you off, but um, I enjoyed our time. And, oh, she's. Oh my gosh. He's like, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. She didn't so it looks like Toya just needed to come outside and catch a breather. She is actually not happy right now. She's like, how could you not tell me that? He's like, I tried to tell you, but then everything was, she's like, nah, I don't want to hear it. He's like, this is hard for me too. I just don't understand how you could fail to tell me something like that. Like, this is big. Like, we've been hanging out for like two days. We've been FaceTiming forever. Like, I don't understand. So Avery's just like, listen, I'm so sorry for not telling you sooner. And I promise I won't keep secrets from you anymore. She's like, that's okay, Avery. Like, you really could have told me. Like, I still would have went out with you regardless. We still would have went on our date. We still would have had a great time. He's like, you mean that? She's like, I mean that. And I'm looking forward to still talking to you. I don't plan on going anywhere just because you're going to say my shoe down. <laughs> so that's really making Avery feel really nice. And, you know, he feels like they can play around again. Like, they can joke again and laugh again and... He's actually really happy about it. He feels like a weight has been lifted off of his shoulder, actually. Meanwhile, Stefan is like, um, <laughs> let me come over here and get to know Miss Toya. So I think he is gonna come over here and do a cheerful introduction. You know, he's heard a lot about Miss Toya. He's like, hey, nice to meet you, I'm Stefan. She's like, hi, I'm Toya. And 
and she's like, I heard a lot about you. And Avery's like, oh my God, this is embarrassing. He's like, how are you, Miss Toya? How's my knucklehead son treating you and everything? So Avery's just actually over here, you know, putting some, some meat on the grill. I actually don't know what he's making. It looks like some skewers. Oh, that looks really good. And he just put it on the ground and stepped on it. But, you know, we're still going to eat it. <laughs> Pinchos.